we're about to take this arrow and make sure the front edge of this insert is perfectly true. Now, if you look down on our spine tester, there is a tool, which is a carbide blade on this side, which allows us to roll that aluminum insert across the face of it, and in turn, we'll shave the front of it to make sure that it is in fact going to be perfectly square. Reason being, we want to find out exactly how perfect these broadheads can be when we thread them onto the front of the shaft. And when we th thread each one on, we will show in front of a ruler whether or not it is wobbling on the front of the shaft. This is the T3 by G5 Outdoors. As you can see, the shot hit a little bit to the side of where we wanted, but if you look up in this area here, you'll notice that the blades opened almost instantaneously and they were sharp enough to cut even though there was a significant amount of flex out from the gel. And penetration wise, out the back side, you couldn't ask for much better than that. Now if we look in front on the leather, we see that the blades did not open upon resistance from the leather. However, they did open within the first inch of penetration. This is the T3 after the shot. You can see that blades are undamaged. However, the spider clip retention system that G5 uses the, would need to be replaced because the springs are busted.